guys are too tall. I'm too like. We're going to Tokyo. We landed in Narita Airport around 4 p.m. and immediately got distracted by the gachapon machines. We did also have plans to go out this night, but picking up our JR passes at the airport took way longer than expected. Instead, we headed to our Airbnb in Shinjuku and ended our first night in Japan indulging in lovely 7-Eleven. Brian, what'd you get? I got this yogurt drink, and then I got minced cutlet sauce and mustard, and egg salad. Interesting. The good one is in the a sandwich. white sandwich. Matt, what did you get? The cutlet, and strong zero. Dash. It's a strawberry sandwich. And then help this water for seven. I'll do mine first. I got spam onigiri and then salmon onigiri. Mm -hmm. I think Evan got gyoza. This is so good. Try it. Hi, vlog. We're outside our alleyway from the B&B. Surprisingly, everyone actually woke up early this morning and we started our day walking to a local coffee shop. We ordered this egg sandwich and I cannot lie, I think this rivals the 7-Eleven sandwich that everyone goes crazy for. To fill the time, we then continued our morning walk to Shinjuku Kyoe, a national garden that happened to be nearby. Can we go to that building? The only thing I ask is we don't do it to ceremony, please. Why? It's so boring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We paid 500 yen, which gave us access to four distinct gardens, a greenhouse, museum, and restaurant. You could easily spend hours walking through the entire map. And even though we didn't have time to see everything, it was still a relaxing way to start our day. I was also impressed by the Ojii-san, who woke up bright and early to keep the gardens so well maintained. Hello vlog. We're at the Rose Garden. Wave! It's a video! Oh! <laughs> I'm just sitting there, you sunbathing! Next, we're on our way to start our actual itinerary. Team Lab Planets is an immersive art museum that requires you to walk barefoot through four exhibits and two gardens. It's a unique experience that captures your senses and makes you feel like you're wandering through the universe. After the exhibit, we headed to Tsukiji Fish Market, where we had fresh unagi and tirashi don. Unfortunately, we didn't realize the market closed at 2 p.m., so we didn't really get to see much, but we did buy strawberry daisuku for dessert. I also bought white strawberries to eat at the B&B later. Now we're on our way to Uniqlo, or Uniqlo. The flagship store has 12 floors and is located in Inza, which is a shopping district filled with department stores and luxury boutiques. We definitely did some damage here, so we decided to drop off our bags at the B&B afterwards. 
But don't destroy my pants. That's oh. my knees. <laughs> To end the night, we made a quick stop at Animate, which is a specialty store for anime, manga, and games. For anyone that's learning Japanese, I think manga or just a book in general would be a really special souvenir to bring back. It's also pretty cheap. For dinner, we walked around Kabukicho, which is a red light district known for its neon lights and lively atmosphere. Eventually, we settled on a ramen shop near Shinjuku Golden Guy. I was in the bathroom for like 8 minutes. <laughs> I'm a slow eater! I was like, I was like, bleeding my ass off. Brian, did you order lunch? Maybe? No? He's got the same Oh, you got regular? No, I got medium. Is it the same thing? Where are you going out with him? How, how late do you guys... I think they'll stay out. Well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll ask to see you after I was going to go back. 845? Top 10 worst nosebleeds in my life. We were in Alpine Motel. <laughs> and these two idiots went for a McDonald's run. And I was bleeding my ass off. I thought I was going to die. Are you going to Um, I want to do laundry. Brian said he wants to go back and do laundry. I'm okay with. Okay. 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 